We begin tonight with a News 3 exclusive. After one UW-Madison student tweeted concerns over an image of him being used for a marketing campaign, other students now sharing similar experiences with the university's talent release form. Our Captain Mark takes a look at the agreement signed by students and shares how one concerned tweet has sparked a larger conversation about what really goes into release forms. It's a form almost every school in the country makes you sign. At UW-Madison, it's called a talent release form. A student who gets this form placed right in front of them might write it off and think nothing of it to be part of advertising for their university. But in the case of one student I spoke with, these forms could put something out there that you didn't necessarily want. Before you sign, read between the lines. It's a message we're told when putting your signature on any document. But when it's a form for a university using your picture, that can raise some questions. Some people like don't want their photos to just be thrown everywhere. Mikey Morin graduated from UW-Madison back in 2019. A tweet from another UW student sparked an online conversation about the university using students for promotions. It was this guy talking about how UW took a photo of him and it, he said like his neck was long and whatever and he didn't like the photo. Hashtag I am UW is a movement. The picture is from a marketing campaign from several years ago, according to UW. Mikey participated in another advertisement for UW during his time there. I was on the cover of whisk.edu. Uh, I was on the, the schedule planner. I was on brochures that they would hand out to incoming freshmen. At UW-Madison and many universities, students sign forms of consent for their image getting used. On the form, it spells it out for students. It says UW can use their image in any manner they deem advisable without restrictions. They're allowed to take photos of you on campus. They're allowed to use it for whatever they want. Um, and so that's kind of what they did. The university said in an online form, the student said he was a strategic communications major, was part of the student radio station, and that he loved ice cream. But answering those questions and signing the form allowed the university to phrase it their way. And I'm sure if they just asked him and said, do we want ice cream aficionado for your quote? He'd probably been like, no, 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 no. The university told News 3 Now that the student's poster has been removed after his tweet made the university aware it was still up. The situation turned into a conversation about just how far the university can go when students agree to letting them use their photo. Proving that when it's on that dotted line, it can be out there for a long time. So I, I there's, there's no way, I mean, if somebody is reading through that, good for you, but like, that's not me. And that's not, I'm sure, 90% of students. As for why this poster was still up recently after the marketing campaign from years ago ended, university officials say it likely remained up longer than it should have due to the COVID-19 pandemic.